Hello and welcome to EBA Day 2023 in Madrid. I'm Hannah Wallace and with me in the studio now from Nexi Group is Andrea Panakia. Hi, wonderful to be here with you. Thank you very much. Andrea, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited to be talking to you today and I want to begin uh, by talking about something that's at the heart of a lot of discussions, of course, over EBA Day, uh, and that's the payment market. So it'd be great to get an overview of the payment market from you and talk about those elements that characterize it as well. So let's start there. Yes. Well, payment market has been always uh, an important source of value for banks. Uh, um, the market is changing, is becoming more and more competitive uh, for the rising of new needs from clients, uh, finance, clients and banks, but even for the changes in the regulatory market. So uh, there are some big changes uh, and starting from the client, for example, uh, the needs from the retail and merchant clients are changing. Uh, they are looking for more and more seamless solutions, for example. Uh, let's think about uh, pay, my, pay now by later, for example, yes. that is a, a classical example of how different processes uh, have to integrate in a seamless uh, uh, client journey. Mm -hmm. This is a clear example. Uh, but even the corporates are changing in the market. Uh, many corporates are developing their own payment infrastructures. Yeah. Uh, let's think, for example, the automotive industry uh, is something that already happened in the years. They, they developed their financial institution in order to complement their products. But now even, uh, for example, uh, specialized corporates in administrative systems are integrating uh, payments into their processes and they are doing these, uh, developing their own payment institution. Uh, this is something that, of course, open to opportunity for the market. Uh, uh, even to offer to these corporate clients our services. Uh, even large, large industrial uh, group, for example, are doing these uh, to uh, optimize the treasury management inside, inside their group. So large uh, corporate are changing part of the market. Then there is something that we spoke a lot about in, in Ebade, is, is the changing uh, coming from the real time uh, change. Yes. Uh, instant payment is something that we spoke a lot about. Uh, uh, and it's, it's something that is changing the market. Uh, we are moving towards real-time processing, and this is a big change for the market. Even, for example, the adoption of a request to pay schema, that is something that is uh, uh, under study in many countries in Europe now. So these are clear examples of how we are moving faster and faster towards uh, real-time processing. So real-time readiness is very important. And finally, but is not the last uh, is importance, is a security and embedded compliance. Because in a, in a, in a, in a fast changing market uh, towards real time processing, security is becoming crucial. So it's very important. And in this environment, uh, with these changes, uh, payment as a service is an option for the banks. It's not always the, the right solution, but can be an important solution in some situations. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for setting the scene for us there and highlighting uh, some really big trends, one of which is payments as a service. So let's talk more about that. What are the benefits there, particularly for the banks? Well, uh, payment as a service uh, in, in the environment that I described before uh, can be an enabler because banks have in this moment um, to balance two different needs. On one side, they have to uh, continue to invest in the ordinary management uh, of the infrastructure and this is something that requires a very strong effort. On the other side it's necessary, it's crucial, uh, being able to be fast in developing the new products, new offers coming from the new client needs. Mm. So it's a difficult, it's a difficult balance. So payment as a service can be an option to balance these two different needs, to manage um, in the best way the trade-off uh, uh, between uh, investments, uh, cost reduction, uh, uh, speed in uh, product development, uh, uh, compliance and security. Mm -hmm. So payment as a service is an option. Uh, of course, uh, payment as a service uh, gives a lot of value to the banks. Uh, first of all, the access to specialized skills. Uh, we know that specialized skills is a scarce uh, resource and uh, in a fast changing market, it's necessary to rely on a partner uh, that is able to provide large teams uh, specialized on technology, on innovation, and of course on security. Then uh, probably the, 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 the access uh, uh, to future-proof technology, 
Uh, this is something we, al we always talk about, but not all the banks have the possibility to take the pace, to maintain the pace with the evolution of technology. So, for example, cloud native infrastructure are very important. Important in, because they are able to enable uh, economies of scale and cost reduction. Secondly, the API approach that um, is important to integrate uh, internal and external application. And finally, microservices. Uh, microservices is something that uh, uh, enables the flexible workflow to give flexibility to uh, the adoption of a payment as a service uh, uh, strategy. And then, of course, uh, it's important to have a modular approach. So uh, modularity is very important in order to uh, enable progressive and selective uh, uh, strategies uh, and adoption on the payment as a service. Um, from this point of view, even the way uh, the process is deployed, the strategy is applied is important. It's important to uh, rely on a partner. It's a matter of trust, of course. It's very important uh, to have a partner that is able to provide uh, uh, track experience in managing these kind of processes. I think you have uh, weaved in some very good advice into that response. And what I'm hearing is that partnerships um, are really key uh, to the success in this space as well. So thank you for that, Andrea. And I'm also um, excited to hear what's next for Nexi uh, and what you're working on. <laughs> Okay, Nexi, Nexi provides a very wide range of uh, offering, covering all the market uh, in, the payment, uh, in the payment arena, from issuing services to merchant uh, services to payment services. And payments uh, we offer uh, are offered to banks, central institutions and the public administration too. Now, focusing on uh, payments and services for banks in this area, uh, we have a payment hub solution. Uh, that we designed and uh, we deployed on many clients uh, uh, with the, the skills of a large company. So relying on our teams specialized on technology, uh, on security and on innovation. And uh, from our point of view, it's very important to say that uh, this solution is integrated with our uh, network solution. Uh, that is a proprietary solution that is uh, important because it's the backbone in Italy, but even in Europe uh, for processing uh, uh, payments. And so these two uh, offers implemented in a bundle way are very, are very flexible in the application. Um, in our opinion, the most important thing is to partner yes. with the client. This is the most important thing, even because, uh, as I told you, the deployment of a payment as a service uh, of a payment of a services strategy is a matter of trust. That's why it's important to our experience in managing mission critical systems. And we manage mission critical systems in Italy and in Europe, and we have the case of experience in these, uh, even with EBA. And, uh, and so I think that this is the really key point uh, and is the point that can bring big value to our clients. And um, in the end, it's the customer uh, that really benefits as well from those partnerships. Um, well, Andrea, thank you so much. Safe to say, watch this space uh, from Nexi, but we'll leave it there. I'll let you get back to the event, but thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure to me, and it's a pleasure to be here in Day. Thank you very much.